Well, hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your mid-month reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading and not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful that scammers are about, pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not take donations and I do not do personal readings for money. I do not have WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon, so please save your wonderful money or give it to charity if you would like to give back in some way. Um, I also do not do meet and greet and I do not have a personal assistant. So if anyone claiming to be me asks you for any of those things, it is a scam. Do not give them anything, okay? Um, also, just want to be uh, mindful that there are lots of wonderful tarot readers out there on YouTube, light workers, light seers, um, who do charge for their services, and absolutely they should. Their services are incredible, okay? They are legitimate people. You'll know by the amount of subscribers that they have. You'll also know uh, about their, their practice. Um, and also, um, you know, they normally have legitimate websites. So please check them out. I've given money to them myself, donations, and paid for readings as well for myself because I can't see for myself. So I'm not talking about those people, okay? I'm just talking about uh, the scammers who take my picture uh, set up a fake YouTube page or a fake Facebook page. There's apparently a Facebook page. I do not have Facebook, um, you know. Um, so please be mindful of those people. Do your due diligence when you're uh, parting with your money for uh, a reading or some sort of service, okay? I mean, that's across the board in life, but uh, at the moment, they're really hitting the YouTube um, tarot com community. So just be mindful, Taurus. Now, this is your mid-month reading. Um, I'm doing this reading on the 8th of June. Um, this reading is specifically for those people who are separated from someone or have someone on their mind that they would like to reconnect with. If you're looking for a singles reading, I did one of those a couple of days ago. So if you're not looking to reconnect with anybody, please check out the reading for singles that I did. I think it was two or three days ago for your sign. So please check that out. Okay. Uh, but this is your um, reading if you would like to connect with somebody. Now we got Temperance and we got the Empress card. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? What do they need to know? We got the Sun card. Okay, so this union definitely has the potential to um, have a happy ending because we got the Sun card in your unified energy, but it requires balance. It requires re examining your priorities within a relationship. Okay, now your protagonist energy is temperance, which is patience. You've had a lot of patience with this Taurus, and you're not normally the sort of person who likes to revisit things unless you feel like there is potential there. Um, and I, I feel like if someone's been really um, hurtful or really, um, you know, not very kind to you, Taurus, I feel like um, that I, I don't feel like you would want to go back to that energy. But it, I mean, we all are human. We all have arguments. We all say things that we don't mean in that moment in order to push people's buttons or hurt them because they've hurt us. So, I mean, we're all human. Okay, this is my, my point. But if anyone is um, physically or verbally or mentally um, abusing you in any shape or way, um, I just want to clarify that is a health, unhealthy relationship and, uh, you know, not something that you should be gravitating towards back. I just want to put that as a little sort of stipulation there um, just to, you know, safeguard your wonderful selves. Now, let's move on to if you want to connect to this person. The temperance card is about re-examining those healthy priorities within your life uh, and within your relationship. This is about finding that balance between you and that person. But also, I feel like um, you um, have been frustrated with this person because there's been an imbalance in this connection. You may have also felt like there was a competition um, in order for their attention. Um, so either they gave a lot of attention to their work or you felt like uh, they were not emotionally available. You felt like you had to compete for their affection in some way. Um, I will clarify what that energy is about, but I can tell you right now the lesson here for both of you, the challenge is to know your worth. OK, because we've got the Empress card in the resistance position. So I feel like you're patiently waiting for things to change um, in this relationship. You know, there, there's two sort of jugs there with energy and both of them are about healthy energy being transformed. So it's almost like you and this person are trying to uh, or will be trying to find that meaning and purpose with with between you both. And I feel like there's an energy here of um, self-control. 
from one person. So I feel like someone is holding themselves back in this situation in some way. I feel like this person's got a very disruptive energy sometimes. And um, it's almost like one moment they're all in saying how much love they have for you. It, it's not love bombing, but I feel like this person really um, sort of goes for the relationship and then all of a sudden they with, withdraw from it. So I feel like there's like a, uh, yeah, it's almost like a seesaw. It's going up and down, up and down, up and down. So uh, we will clarify this energy with the Celtic cross, but we've got the Empress card. Now this is um, a Libra and a Taurus card. So this is your card as well, Taurus. Um, this is an energy about stability, but it's also about knowing your worth, knowing what you truly deserve in terms of love. Now you may have had a lack of confidence in um, the relationship because you felt like this person neglected the obvious, the emotions, the connection, the deep connection that was within you. And you and this person may also, um, now this is not going to be for all Taurus, but you and this person um, may have had a child together as well. Um, and you know, there's a bond there that uh, binds you both. Um, it's, it goes beyond that. Okay. Just so you're aware. Um, there is a lot of love in this connection, um, but there's an energy here of, um, indecisiveness okay uh, now uh, as I said not everyone's got a child with this person so if it does not if that part does not connect to you doesn't mean it's not your reading they just bring it up um, to highlight um, uh, for some a connection uh, now they show me a Siamese cat all of a sudden so Siamese cat so if you've got a Siamese cat uh, there's something in this message for you okay <clears throat> okay yeah, they're just showing me a Siamese cat being very curious, very, very curious. So either you're listening to this reading and your Siamese cat has all, all of a sudden come and joined you in this reading and is very curious about you. Um, this It's almost like this cat is just really sussing you out, <laughs> Taurus. It's freaking me out <laughs> um, how close this cat is getting to my face. I mean, I love cats. Uh, I think they're incredible. Um, but it's in such an intense bond. Anyway, I'll leave that there. Um, but if it does not connect to you, doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. But the Empress card here is about knowing your worth, having um, building strong, healthy foundations within yourself and rebuilding your self-esteem. Now, you may have felt like recently um, that you've been neglecting yourself because of this connection. Um, I feel like uh, you may have felt like you're overextending your wonderful heart to this person and forgetting about yourself. Okay, Taurus, which often leaves a very unbalanced uh, connection. That's why they're giving the temperance card as your protagonist energy. This is the energy that is propelling you forward to make this work. Um, now, the Empress card also indicates um, that there is a change here. Okay, um, as you can see, the butterfly is right over the third eye. So you, you know that this person is meant for you. You know that there is a deep bond here, but you also know that something needs to change. Okay, there is a, a resistance to some sort of change here. It's led to stagnant energy. And I feel like um, this person may have disconnected to you, disconnected from you because they feel like uh, next to you, Taurus, they feel a little bit unworthy. Okay, um, and I, I say that in... Uh, with no disrespect, I feel like this person um, looks at you and sees that you have everything going on. And you may not see those things within yourself, Taurus. Um, so uh, I feel like there's just two people coming from two different perspectives here. Um, I'm going to pull a card on this particular uh, card because I just feel like you're putting yourself first now, uh, which is wonderful. That's the right energy to be in, Taurus. I've even got a little knock there on my windowsill to, from Spirit. They're indicating that you definitely um, are putting yourself first, which is the most important because uh, our cup of love for ourselves has to be full of love and only then can we offer it to another person. But if our cup of love is half full with insecurity, with codependency or any of those things, and we give that away, then we're giving that into the union and they're gonna give their cup of love full of whatever um, they've got in there as well to us. And we drink from that cup of love. So then it's sort of, you know, so you get what I'm saying. Uh, but the Empress card here as well, I feel like you're very attractive, Taurus, um, both inside and out. You may not feel these things, but you are, okay? Um, you've come, it, we all come in this vehicle you know, but we've all got a, a, a spiritual, um, we've got a consciousness, we've got a soul, um, we're having a human experience in a physical body. And I feel like um, there is a beauty about you that is, your person is attracted to. And you may not recognize those things within you, but that's your challenge to recognize that confidence uh, within you. So I'm just going to pull a card 
But you see, the thing is, this person feels almost, I'm just getting this energy of intimidation. This person feels intimidated. Now, whether that's, sometimes this person feels intimidated by your confidence, if that's the case, Taurus, that's not your problem. That's their problem, okay? Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels, can you please? I would like to receive. Thank you so much. We got the Page of Swords. This person, ooh, yeah, look at this. You two are in a stalemate energy. You're not talking. You're not saying how you feel. The Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords, both in the reverse here. Okay, now male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy Taurus. There's, there's something unsaid here. Okay, now this could be that there was a miscommunication between you and this person, or there's just something not being said. But we've got a Page of Swords here, which is Aquarius energy. And um, the Aquarius energy is in the reverse, so they're indicating this person is uh, stalking you. They're very curious about you. Uh, I don't mean stalking you in the bushes and that sort of thing. I mean, this person is very curious about what you're up to, seeing if you're seeing anybody else. Uh, this person is trying to keep an eye on you, but at the same time, they're not saying nothing. It's like, well, what kind of logic is that, right? Uh, this person, I feel, really wants to talk. Um, I will clarify that energy, but we've got the Queen of Swords here. There's a coldness. Okay, now either you felt like this person was dishonest in some way or unkind. I feel like um, there's just a stalemate energy where no one is talking right now. Okay, um, now let me just go and uh, clarify those two cards again. I also feel like uh, there's moments of having sheer clarity with this person, knowing that you're headed in a certain direction, and then all of a sudden cloudedness where, um, yeah, it's overthinking, both of you. We got the Eight of Swords. Uh, it's in the reverse. Okay, so there, this is the challenge position. Both of you need to have confidence within yourselves and love yourselves fully, and then that's the lesson. Then you come together in union because we've got the unified position. Both of you have the potential to have that awakening and come together in a very happy, joyous union, okay? Uh, now, uh, the Eight of Swords, when you get it in the upright position, this is about mental anxiety. It's about overthinking. It's about analysis paralysis, nothing happening. As you can see, all those swords there, they're in a protective energy, which is wonderful. You know, when someone hurts us, we protect ourselves straight away, but we also guard ourselves from letting love in thereafter, okay? Unless we break down the walls. And there's no threat here. These swords are not pointed at this person. She's bound in her own mental anxiety. Now, in the reverse, what they're indicating here is that two people who are not talking or two people who've had some sort of miscommunication or some sort of um, verbal unkindness towards each other, maybe an argument or something like that, um, there's an energy here of releasing that, okay? There needs to be a, a, an escape, a liberation. Someone's got a break here. Someone's got to talk. Um, let's see, uh, I'm going to go deeper and find out who's that, who that person is who's coming to talk for you, but I feel like there's definitely a release here, a surrender. Uh, I feel like there's a little red, a little white flag. Is, is it a white flag, a flag of peace? I feel like someone is going to wave that flag in this, okay? So let's uh, go a little bit deeper and find out what's going on there. Um, we've got the sun card, so this is the unified position. You and this person, there's an energy here of both of you really want to make it work. Deep down, there will be happiness. There will be uh, an awakening. There will be a blossoming. Uh, and I feel like there's a lot of abundance between you and this person. There's a lot of love, okay? It will start to flow towards you, but someone's got to give. Because if, if, if you and this person remain in that not talking energy, uh, it'll be a missed opportunity. Uh, because I feel like there's so much love here between you and this person. Now, we've got a Sagittarius energy. We've got Taurus, Libra. We've also got Leo. Uh, let's go and see your Celtic cross and see the details. What is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Taurus? Uh, just to let you know, I'm using the Mystical Moments Tarot. Um, I'm using uh, them in the upright. And apart from the challenge position, which I'll read both energies. Um, also, just to let you know, um, I'm running a free um, competition for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. I'll let you know right at the end how to win that. I will announce the winner on the 28th of June. Um, and finally, I've also uh, launched a new channel called the Muse Eye Messages. Uh, that is a pick a card channel. So if you're into those, um, check that out there. The, the readings are about 20 minutes, uh, 20 to 30 minutes there. Um, and uh, they are about uh, yourself, your money, your finances, your love, but I also do ruins and things like that. So I, and um, crystals. So I really shake up the system over there. Uh, it's different from here. So check it out if you want to. The uh, link is in the comments box below. But if it's not something that floats your boat, then, you know, let's move on. Now, the heart of the matter. 
we got Leo energy here, the strength card. So this is about self-worth. It's about self-love. So again, they're giving the same message. You may be healing something, but I feel like you're trying to find that inner calm. The strength card is about love for self, but it's also the courage to offer unconditional self-love after you love yourself. Now, uh, Taurus, I feel like you've been in an energy of loving yourself for a while, healing things for quite a while, but I feel like there's some sort of um, either anger or pride or some sort of struggle that you had with this relationship that led to a lot of anger, maybe even rage, you know, uh, because this person, uh, I feel like they've pressed your buttons. And, and at first there was disbelief. That's what I'm getting, disbelief. Then there was pain and sadness. Then there was absolute rage. Then there was like a disconnect for a while. And you may feel like you're in that numb kind of, area where there's like moments of feeling like well I don't even know what I feel anymore okay I feel like you're going through the process uh, but the heart of the matter is uh, to focus on self because number eight that's normally the number of self okay it's about mastering yourself loving yourself um, so um, I feel like the heart of the matter right now is to reconnect to yourself and learn the lesson okay I feel like your person uh, is doing the same now what is the challenge in this union the devil there's some sort of pattern here, obsession. Um, the devil card indicates there's an addiction to each other. You and this person, you know, you may be um, in a pattern that is unhealthy for you and, and them. It's almost like you're going round and round in circles. It doesn't mean it's, how can I put that? So there may be codependency, for example. This person needs, uh, you know, to be addicted to something, or you do, Taurus. Now, that whether that's addicted to drama or addicted to um, sabotaging connections, or whether it is addicted to substances, or whether it's addicted to just you, Taurus. This person and you are in a stuck energy, okay? Now, the devil doesn't mean it has to be a toxic energy. It just means something is preventing you from moving forward. Something is keeping you and this person completely helpless and stuck in a situation. As you can see, we've got two webs there, okay? Now, two webs are two energies that are potentially stuck and you know feel like they cannot get out of it so there's an energy here of you trying to detach yourself from it but i feel like you and this person need to be vulnerable with each other and open um up to each other because now please don't take this the wrong way and shoot the messenger when i say this um there's a healthy amount of obsession between you and this person but i feel like the cherry on top would be if you and this person opened up to vulnerability because i feel like this person either avoids their emotions or is chaotic in their energy there's a rigidness in this person and they avoid okay or they deny because there's fear here the devil card is often about fear you know looking at a, and identifying a fear of being trapped in something um, and when they really look at the root of the problem or the root of the issue here um, there is an indication um, that they're tempted by their fears to let them run wild so I feel like there's definitely temptation here now I'm gonna pull a card on this energy and see if we can get a bit more clarity on the exact energy that's coming through but I feel like you're trying to detach yourself from that Joris, here we go, the, free, the fear of opening up to love. And also, you know, there's such a deep psychic bond between you and this person, Taurus, you just know. Uh, we got the Ace of Cups and we got the High Priestess, okay? The, the, the temptation here is that you and this person, you know there's love, you know that you're meant to be together. The High Priestess here says there is a deep knowledge, a deep understanding between you and this person on another level, on a subconscious level. There is wisdom that you and this person know you're meant to be, okay? And there is love here. The Ace of Cups indicates this person will come towards you. They will battle through this energy. They will offer you their love. This is divinely guided. When you get an Ace of Cups, this is fate intervening to bring you the love that is connected to you on that deeper level, on that psychic level. You just know. Okay, Taurus, you just know. Um, but there's something here keeping st uh, the energy stuck. So I'm just going to pop that right there for you and see um, what is the energy that is keeping you stuck? What is the energy that's keeping you and this person stuck? Ace of Wands. Rejection. Okay, it's another Ace. You know, aces don't just pop out all, all together in a, in a deck. So just be mindful of the messages you're getting there and the synchronicities. Uh, but the ace in the reverse indicates um, you and this person, uh, there's a pushing away of energy. This person rejected, um, either rejected you, Taurus, in a brutal way, or it was a very, um, you know, very tough, painful ending. Um, and, you know, or this person has fake starts. It's almost like there's stops and starts with this person, stops and starts. They come on in, then they just check out 
okay so I feel like this is their pattern um, but um, this person there's also an energy of this person delaying things they want to delay okay because I feel like there's a lot of love here now this is also, uh, this is not for all, Taurus, this is not for all, but uh, I'm just going to give this uh, because they've just given it to me. Um, so please take this part as it resonates. It may not resonate for everyone. I feel like it, it won't resonate for everyone, um, but I feel like it does resonate for some. There's an energy here of someone's got a higher libido than the other, okay? And there was something about this person. They don't really want to reject the higher libido person, but it's becoming a little bit much, okay? Or this person is into something really kinky that is kind of like, ooh, I don't know. I mean, everybody's kink is, you know, different. You know, it doesn't, uh, I never really get this message. So it's really interesting this is coming through. I think this is a first for me ever reading about this. Um, so it's interesting to, to learn about this. But um, they're indicating someone's got something in the bedroom or wherever, in the kitchen or in the bathroom, wherever, uh, some sort of kink that um, is kind of like, um, on another level that you may the other is not really interested in okay so um, I don't know why they're bringing that in there but they're indicating that that may be an issue as well uh, there for some but I'm just gonna leave that there um, because that's not what this reading is about uh, but mainly the energy here is that you know it takes a lifetime to build trust between a person you break it once you can break it in seconds okay and it's sometimes irreparable but they're indicating here that you and this person can find that balance um but there's there's love here okay even though there's a devil card it, there's obsession here but this person rejects they're avoidant um and uh but they, i mean they know this person knows you're the one they know and you know okay so i'm just going to leave those two out because there's so much love here uh but the challenge is to overcome this pattern that you and this person may be in maybe round and round and round in circles and uh, now what is below my beautiful Taurus what do they need to know what is below we have the magician deep down this person is trying to manifest you back into their world and Taurus I feel like you're the same thoughts become things the magician is about using the power of the mind to manifest dreams to reality and I feel like you may be thinking about this person they're definitely thinking about you okay I'm just getting this very strong energy this person is almost overthinking about you. I think you're on their mind all the time and they just can't get it. I feel like they're trying to work out. They're showing me equations right now. So when they show me the equations, it indicates this person is really trying to work out what this bond is. How is it that Taurus makes me feel like this? Why do I keep coming back to Taurus? What is it about Taurus? They're trying to do all the math and they keep coming back to the answer equals Taurus. So that's what I, I feel this person just always is drawn back to you, okay? Now the magician indicates that deep down, whatever you're thinking about Taurus, thoughts become things. Whatever you're manifesting in your mind, you can have in your hand. So please be mindful how you're thinking about this person. If you're remembering the good old days, you know, of course that energy, that vibration is high, which is really nice. Uh, but if you're imagining the last time you talked um, or remembering, you know, a, a time when you argued or any of those things, like damn I wish I could have said that or if only they'd said this and I could have told them this then you're actually imagining that person in that frequency and you're recalling that person in that frequency towards you so if you want your person to come back towards you imagine what you want with them so see your future with this person see it being um, minus drama see it um, more loving see it you know see you and this person um, moving in together see you and this person doing household chores together whatever you know passion um, getting married if that's what you want see it like you have it and you bring that person into your frequency like that so I feel like whatever you're thinking about with this person is going to come towards you okay this person is coming towards you I feel like your magnetic um, pull is stronger than theirs Taurus and I feel like this person is going to be guided back towards you okay uh, because you're finding that confidence within yourself to know what you desire and what you're, you're worth uh, now often we have to walk away from things walk away from situations to show that person that you know we're happy without that person we can 
survive and thrive without that person. But we wanted that person in our lives for a reason. We chose to have them in our lives and we don't choose to let everybody into our lives. So Taurus, um, I feel if you're walking, if you've walked away from this union or you felt like you've had to walk away, you're actually teaching this person um, how you like to be treated and that they don't get to come back unless they have upped their game. Okay. Um, so um, there we go. In the recent past, there's two of cups there was union there was love you felt like this person was your soulmate this is a deep romantic love full of promise of um potential in the future but then there was separation so i feel like you and this person have a deep love um i feel like you and this person are almost like twin flames you know there's twins there um this is not a twin flame reading i will be doing a twin flame reading that is different energy so uh this reading is for those who are separated or thinking about someone that they want to reconnect with um i feel like so much love here i mean it is not it's not a coincidence that you got this and then the sun card Okay, so I feel very much like there's a lot of love here between you and this person. And it looked really promising. It looked like it was going to go to term. But uh, in. Sorry, they just give me a name, woman, please. So they just give me the, a name, Jensen. Jensen. So if your person's name is Jensen or your name is Jensen, uh, I guess it's a surname. It could be a nickname, it could be your first name as well. Um, so please take it as it resonates, Jensen. Uh, so uh, it's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. If it does not resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading as their attention may have wavered. Now, what is the potential? Page of Wands. This person wants to start something new with you, okay? Uh, they're very, very... Um, how can I put that? Oh, sorry. They just want that in that position too. Okay, I'll move on to the next position after. Thank you so much. I'm truly really grateful. Um, so uh, they want to start something new with you. Page of Wands indicates they're very curious about you as well. Okay, see that person's got a, a big old magnifying glass. Um, they, This person is so passionate about you. There's a lot of love here. I feel like this person is actively coming towards you. The potential here is they're actively going to come and um, discuss the future with you. Okay. This is someone who wants to start a new passionate beginning with you. Uh, someone who is um, ready for the adventure, ready for the journey. I feel like this person is ready, but we got the nine of wands there crossing it. There's hurt here. Uh, you and this person, there's some wounds to heal. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior. As you can see, uh, this person has endured a lot to get to that blossoming stage in love. So you and this person may feel like, uh, well, you certainly may feel, Taurus, that this person has put you through the ringer when it comes to love and that you've uh, endured a lot of um, sacrifice, a lot of pain. You've had to surrender to a lot of things. Uh, but still, this uh, feminine figure in this uh, picture still persists, still wants to get to that blossoming stage, regardless of the wounds. So, the, the, you know, take it easy with this relationship, Taurus. Take it slow. Use your intuition, okay? Because we've got the high priestess right there. Uh, but this person, I feel like they want to come back and um, I feel like they want to almost like they want to start anew, but they are aware of the wounding between both of you. Okay. Now it takes two to tango. I'm not here to judge any one situation. I'm here to understand the energy and transmute it from, I know, need to know a backstory before I can get to the, to the front story, if you understand what I mean. So there is definitely potential for new passion between you and this person, but both of you are a little bit guarded. Okay. Uh, because the nine of wands is a guarded energy. When you're hurt, as I said, you protect your energy, you protect your heart. But just be mindful that you don't prevent love from coming back on in, okay? Because the Nine of Wands is that wounded warrior. Someone who will continue to fight for love. This person, I feel like, will fight for this. They will come towards you. Um, but at the same time, they're guarded. So it's, um, you know, I don't feel like it's a make or break situation because you've got the Sun card here in the unified position. If you had the Devil card in that position, for example, I'd say, you know what? It's going to take some time to heal. It's going to take some time. For you and this person to move forward um, but right now i'm seeing a lot of potential energy that is really um positive that's coming through here what's in the near future messages eight of wands eight of wands is news coming from this person also this person's making some quick changes they're going to come towards you quite quickly actually and i feel like this person wants to tell you how they feel okay uh, this person wants to elevate the relationship this person um, I feel like you're going to be on cloud nine. This person's actually going to come towards you, okay? They've got a lot of passion for you and a lot of love. They really do care for you. So if you've been doubting that, my beautiful Taurus, don't doubt that. 
please. Uh, I mean, their actions may say one thing. Please use your intuition because if you know that this person loves you on a deeper level, you can transcend the obstacles, um, but only if you work on things. Now, notice we haven't got any swords here. We had some swords uh, earlier just to clarify, but we got no swords here. So they're indicating here that there needs to be a deep conversation. There's, there's a lack of communication here. Both the swords that we had that came out earlier were the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords, which is in reverse. So there's no communication. There needs to be a communication. But the Eight of Wands suggests that you will have a message from this person. Um, now, whether it's uh, getting to the nitty gritty of what you need to talk about, let's see. What is the advice that my beautiful Taurus is giving to themselves in this moment? Three of Pentacles. Now, uh, Three of Pentacles is an energy of coming together to collaborate, to rebuild something. Okay, so um, you may feel like this person really needs to be on your wavelength and really put in the effort to actually build something towards a solid future. You know, the next one up from this is the Four of Pentacles. You know, so uh, you don't want them to be in the Two of Pentacles energy because that's a, an undecided energy weighing up options. But I feel like you're, you're hoping this person, as you can see, all those little birds are joining uh, with the nails uh, and she's got the hammer uh, to, to rebuild something. They want to build something solid, something peaceful, you know, something that... Um, as you can see, that, that poppy there is made out of brick, something solid. They're, they're working towards making something solid. And um, that's what I feel like you're hoping that this person comes towards you to do, okay? Um, and I know some people will say three, a three, a three of pentacles or a three of cups or a three of something uh, can indicate a third party situation. Uh, I'm not getting that energy from this, Taurus. I'm just feeling a deep rooted energy of wanting to rebuild something with this person. Um, no matter how long it takes, because there's so much love here. I feel like this person is the same, um, but we will clarify that. Thank you so much. Um, so what is the external environment for now? Okay, uh, so there's an energy here of healing. Uh, we got the Four of Swords. Now the Four of Swords is a rest and recuperation energy, but it is also a solitary energy. So right now you're in an energy of uh, being single, or you know, you're in that sort of renewal of self energy. And this figure is lying on the moon, <coughs> excuse me, the crescent moon. Now the moon is about illusions. The moon is about fear. So, uh, you know, you may be uh, looking at the lessons that you've learned from your fears uh, that let you, that maybe you've got, you let them get the better of you. We all do. Uh, but I feel also this person is looking at their fears and how they let their fears get the better of them. And they're trying to heal whatever is within them to come towards you. Okay. Because we got the page of wands here as the potential starting some new passion, um, with each other, but being guarded. Okay. Uh, and eight of wands, this person's coming towards you with news. Uh, there's a lot of love here. They're giving me all the signs here. This person has feelings for you, uh, but there's something in here that's, uh, this person is resisting. Um, now what is the hope and fear for my beautiful Taurus? Oh, sorry. One moment, please. Oh gosh. Um, could you please stop? Thank you so much. I'm truly really grateful. Sorry, I do, I do apologize. Um, they were just giving me, oh gosh. So I'm just gonna ground my energy, one moment please. Sorry, they, sorry about that. They were just giving me, um, you know, uh, nails on a chalk, chalk, chalkboard. Yeah, uh, gosh, I can't stand that sound. Okay, so I don't know what that was about. Um, so either, I mean, either you have a chalkboard at home and you're writing something and it made a screech um, or, uh, I don't know what that's about. Uh, normally when I get that, when someone does that sound, it's to get someone's attention. It certainly got my attention, um, but I'm not sure what that's about. So uh, I just heard, uh, just to clarify, um, screech on a chalk board. Okay, so um, I don't know how that's relevant to your energy. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Okay, now what is the hope and fear? We got the hangman, waiting, waiting, waiting. And the Ten of Wands, it's stressful, okay? It's frustrating. Um, the, the hangman is you sacrifice a lot in this situation, Taurus. And, you know, it's almost like you didn't come this far to only get this far and walk away from a union. So I feel like you're trying to surrender and get a new perspective. Um, I feel like also that you've been hanging around for a while for this person um, and uh, you're verging on this, almost like teetering on the edge of, shall I just move forward? 
Shall I look for something new? Shall I, uh, you know, unzip, unveil a new life elsewhere? Is this a missed opportunity? Asking yourself all those questions, okay? The fear here would be that you would miss that opportunity because there's love. Um, so I feel like you're in a bit of a rock and a hard place with this um, situation. But I feel um, that hangman gives you the opportunity to really um, re-examine your priorities within your, within your relationship and work out what it is that you want and what's holding you back because this person is also doing the same. Also, there's a fear here that the person you may have been dealing with, Taurus, is quite a selfish energy. They want things on their own terms and you may have felt it was very difficult to navigate that. When you've got stubborn uh, energy and you got uh, and it meets, especially Taurus, you're, you're represented by the bull, which is a stubborn um, energy. Okay, uh, I, you know, I'm Scorpio. I'm, I'm definitely a stubborn energy. Um, so sometimes, you know, we butt heads with people who are um, like an opposite, opposites attract, I know. But, you know, so I feel like sometimes there's like a stalemate going on here with you and this person, a push and pull within the union. And the Ten of Wands uh, indicates um, a lot of baggage, a lot of exhausting energy, but it takes a lot to blossom. Okay, as you can see, this, this figure here is actually blossoming and blooming as a person and it feels very heavy. It takes an enormous amount of energy to really go through the, the, the lessons, learn the lessons and blossom as a human before we can tend to the other, to, to another person's garden as it were. So um, I feel very much like um, there's an awakening here. Um, the, the, the fear here is that, um, you know, you and this person are finally taking a break. You're both um, in that separation period. Um, there's a fear here that this person may say no to the connection or that you may decide that you've had enough and uh, you can't do this anymore. Okay, I feel like there's a breaking point energy happening here in the fear. So, uh, I mean, you may feel like there's a crisis talk that needs to be happening here because nothing is happening right now. Um, but there is news. This person is coming towards you. They find you very attractive. Now, what is the solution? Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? Uh, what do they need to know? Oh, wow. That's normally, a, that's a lot. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So we've got the Emperor. Interesting. We've got the Ace of Swords. There's a breakthrough. We got the Nine of Pentacles and we got the Ace of Cups. So this person's definitely coming t towards you to offer their love. I mean, we got an Ace of Cups again, okay? So this is your solution, this is the outcome position. So they're indicating you both just know that there's love here um, and it is uh, divinely guided. Fate will intervene in this situation to bring you the love that you truly deserve and desire, Taurus, okay? So um, they're definitely indicating here that there is love. Uh, now, this is, uh, I'm going to have to pull a card on this. Uh, first of all, we got the Knight of Pentacles. Now, Taurus, this is an energy of someone meeting you halfway. It was slow to get there, okay? Um, but this is something solid. As you can see, that horse there is made out of oak leaves. So there's definitely an energy of someone who um, wants to be reliable, someone who wants to show up in your life, someone who wants to work hard and have patience with the union. And this person will meet you halfway. Okay, so I feel like this person's coming on in to offer you their love for something long term and secure. Um, in terms of vibrations, uh, now male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. But we got the emperor here. Okay, so they're indicating with this that there is a counterpart match. Vibrations are raising and it indicates this person wants to settle down. They're, they're thinking about the future, they're planning the future and they want a relationship full of respect. As I said, the challenge position there is the Empress. Okay, so we find a solution for the challenge position and the Empress needs to be with her Emperor. Okay, and again, male or female, not a gender specific reading, no matter what gender you're attracted to, this is about you found, finding your counterpart, okay? So there's definitely an energy here of we got a match. Uh, a feminine energy and a masculine energy, uh, it, it really makes no difference. It's about the counterpart match, okay? So frequencies are aligning for you and this person to be together, because you just know that th there's love here. You just know you're meant to be together. So um, they're just indicating a drum for me, a drum. So I mean, this drum may signify a uh, time, it's time for something, or it may be about marching to the beat of your own drum, or the drum often signals a calling, the inner calling of the heart, the spirit, okay, and, and the longing. So I'm not sure what they're giving me by that. Maybe you play drums, or maybe this person does, or maybe you can hear drums as you're listening to this reading. If that's you, there's something in this message for you. But this is about you and this person blossoming, okay? And it's going to be something stable and healthy. Uh, now, 
We have an Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is a breakthrough. Uh, it is a triumphant success. It is a communication. It is so important. Ace of Swords, to get to have a reading that is lacking in communication in, in terms of swords, and then to get the Ace of Swords, the pinnacle Ace, very important, okay? As I said, the Ace of Swords was pointed down uh, before, so now we've got the Ace of Swords in the upright. A communication is key, um, as you can see, but you have everything within you, Taurus, to make this work. You and this person are divinely guided. Your relationship is made from something other, okay? A deeper connection, a psychic bond, something that um, has been um, almost, well, I feel like it's been um, maneuvered by the universe for you and this person to move mountains to come back together, okay? So I feel like, the, as you can see, there's a shell on that uh, person's head there, and uh, they're having like an epiphany moment. Now, the shell represents uh, listening, but also uh, it looks like a snail's, um, you know, a snail's shell there, but it goes round and round in circles. So you got the key to unlock something that's been going round and round in circles for a while and there's a breakthrough here it starts with a conversation uh and we got the nine of pentacles now the nine of pentacles is a very attractive energy as i said taurus this person finds you very very attractive it's also a solitary energy okay so um it's about making uh your money living a life of luxury being very independent a lot of financial gain so i feel like this person is going to come towards you and recognize what they're set to lose because they find they can see that you're doing all awesome by yourself, Taurus. You're thriving. You know your 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 um, confidence is very attractive. It's actually uh, an aphrodisiac to see someone who's wonderfully confident in their own skin and loving themselves fully and loving life. Okay, um, it's not about ego. It's about confidence. I know some people feel it's a very fine line, uh, but it's about honoring yourself and loving yourself in the moment. And this person, I feel, finds you very attractive anyway, and they're going to be even more attracted to you. I feel like this is a time of abundance as you reach for a more luxurious lifestyle for yourself as well. I feel like uh, it's the cool kids are crawling at a glow up, right? So I feel like that's what you're having. Uh, I feel like this person is, they love you no matter what, okay? Because there's love before. There's love before the solution. This person loves you no matter what. Um, and we got the Ace of Cups. This person's coming to offer you their cup of love again. This person does not want to disappoint you or disappoint the relationship. They don't want to be let down because they've. Uh, there's an energy here of uh, separation and um, sadness. They want to change that because the cup is full of butterflies. Butterflies are about change, about transition. They want to offer you something that is changed, a love that is divine union, one that will lead to a higher level of commitment, a proposal, uh, maybe marriage if that's what you're wanting there. Uh, but it's definitely love. This person's going to come and offer you that, okay? It is a, a glorious time where uh, there's, there's love again, okay? So after separation, there is love. Uh, so... Uh, do you believe in life after love, Taurus? I get this energy um, that there's definitely life after love for you. Um, and I feel like there's still love. That's that's the point, okay? You know, I feel like it comes full circle um, with you and this person. So uh, expect a message from this person um, between, um, well, I feel up to the 15th is important. 15th of July. Um, I feel like that's the energy. Um, I feel like it's sooner than that. That's the energy that I'm getting. Now, I'm just going to give you a wisdom of the Oracle card before we close the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my... Uh, oh, interesting. They're giving me uh, a name, Walter. Walter. So um, maybe, yeah, Walter. Uh, so if that's your name or someone that you know's name, maybe it's your counterpart's name. It could even be a, a friend that you've been getting advice uh, from, Walter. Um it's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. I mean, it could be the name of a building that you walk at, you, you live at, or, uh, sorry, yeah, you live at or you work at. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. Um, now, what is, we got mending, okay? So they're definitely indicating here that you and this person have the uh, ability to find a solution and heal what's going on here. You know, the four swords is the environment is perfect for you and this person to be mending um, from your own point of view individually uh, and then coming together in union uh, there. So I feel like this person's coming. They want to fix this, okay? They just know, they know that um, you and this, they just know that you're meant to be. Now, I'm just going to read from the book because I don't want to tell you anything wrong. Um, what's really interesting, uh, I've done two readings now for uh, people who are in separation. I just did a Leo one and I did uh, your one. Um, and both end cards 
uh, both end up to uh, this number 52 when you reduce it 5 plus 2 is 7 uh, which is the chariot card overcoming obstacles and moving forward for victory uh, in a relationship and um, their card was also when it was a different card but it was 25 and it also reduces up to number seven. So that is, again, a movement forward. So both your readings, there's movement forward here. Uh, now, forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. Relationship, it says, you've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you're to move forward. Separate or together, you and another person are still experiencing the effects of a hurt that is impacting everything you do. Even if you're not aware of it, the energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and an honest redress. Okay, so there looks like the, you and this person can come back together, heal it all. Thank you so much for it, guys. Glenn Eagle, can you please, guys? Um, the beautiful tourists, what do they need to know? Oh, they want that. Oh, wow. Okay, so first of all, we've got uh, an angel. Uh, so you're being divinely guided and protected in this union. You do not walk alone, okay? They're guiding you back together is what they're indicating to me right now. And we got, they want it on the Ace of Cups. They're guiding you towards a deep love, okay, that is present already within you both. Uh, we've also got the Butterfly, which indicates change, a transition within this relationship. It often connects to the Death card. Endings bring a new beginning, but what must be shed is an old familiar pattern that keeps you and this person stuck. So any resistance, any stagnant energy is being transformed. Any obsessive energy is being um, sort of almost eradicated and you're moving from one state to another. You know, when you think about a butterfly's journey, they're in the chrysalis. So they're in a learning stage, a stage where nothing happens. They're in a stagnant energy and then they come out of the chrysalis. There's the same person, but or the same, they're the same creature, but they've changed. So I feel like there's definitely change happening for you and this person. Uh, they want it on the ace a swords, a breakthrough, okay? So it's definitely an emergence of a breakthrough here for you. And finally, you've got this wonderful heart. It's so ornate. Those two very different segments. It's almost like they're both cut in half, this heart. So two pieces coming together as one. So uh, there's a lot of love between you and this person. And um, th there's definitely union here, okay? Words like this. Oh, they want it also on the Ace of Cups. So there is love and there will be love again between you and this person, okay? So I'll leave it there, my beautiful Taurus. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to be in with a chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is visualize um, an intention for 10 minutes, okay? Whatever it is that you would like to happen, whether it's uh, call your, your soulmate back in, or whether it is to um, get the job of your dreams, see it like you have it, visualize it like you've got it already, like you're living it, okay? Because when we want something, if we think about it in the future, it's still way over there. It's almost like it's always just within reach and it never gets there, right? So I want you to see it like you got it. Visualize like you're holding hands with this person, smell their cologne or their perfume. Imagine yourself holding them at night in bed or having a shower with them. Uh, also, if you want the job of your dreams, imagine yourself doing it, then seeing the money come into your account per month, piling up so that you can live the life of luxury that you're hoping for. So um, you can share it with the collective in the comments box below if you wish to, but if you do not wish to, just put the words intention set and I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of June. I will announce a winner in a video upload, okay? So I won't be writing on the walls or, you know, in the comments boxes. Um, I'll be announcing it in a video, um, just so you're aware. Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurus. Love and light.